Oh, wait, shit. No, let, you can have it. I don't know. No, I, I, I wanted it black. They put the cream and sugar in there. I don't we, did not, so we did not start you smoking cigarettes again. Who did? Or did we? Who did? You did it yourself. I came into your room when you were sleeping and I hypnotized you. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I fucked you a little bit. I've been putting cigarettes in your mouth while you sleep at night and lighting them so every time you breathe, you take a puff and you've been slowly being addicted to nicotine without even knowing it. <laughs> Take a little puff, Drain. It's uh, oh, yeah. me, me, Janice, me, Janice here, and uh, Kyle and Draymond. Hello. Why do we have to use real names? What do you want your What would you want your name to be if you could have one for the podcast? Gary. <laughs> You're Gary. Gary. You're Gary. Well, are you Gary or Draymond? Gay Gary. Gary yeah. <laughs> gay Gary. Gay Ross. <laughs> I'll be Ross. I'll be Gary. <laughs> I'll be Glizzy Draymond. All right, well, Glizzy McGuire. <laughs> Glizzy McGuire in the house. Kyle's really pissed off right now because we got Taco Bell. And I'm living. Lady with the face tattoo that's making all the right decisions in life f- completely fucked up his order. Face hey. tat Tammy is a fucking bitch. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> she fucked it all up. He wants to get his revenge on Taco Bell now. Mm-hmm. Steven doesn't agree with the concept of a. Uh, I don't. Tattoo being a monocle of today's society. <laughs> well, and I also don't think that getting back at Taco Bell means that we should burn it down. <laughs> I don't want to burn it down. I want to kill every person who's ever stepped foot inside of a Taco the Bell. I'm gonna, and their whole bloodline. I'm going to kill Taco Bell. <laughs> I said, get revenge. Just throw the coffee on the ground. And he said, no, I'm going to kill them. <laughs> okay. Uh, and the firstborn. For legal purposes, we are uh, allegedly going to kill. Yeah, no. If you've ever eaten Taco Bell, if no you've one's ever worked in Taco anyone. Bell, if you've ever stepped foot in a Taco Bell, if you've heard the word Taco Bell, I will find you. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. We, we should not leave this in. Okay. Can you get in trouble for that? No. It's a, if it's just a joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no way, you can dude. You get in trouble for anything, man. Uh... Yeah, no, apparently there's a, a Killebrew story in the in the workings that I don't know fuck about, but... Oh, yeah, so I was saving that for you. Uh, <laughs> last night we went to Killebrew's, and we told people that it was my dad's birthday, and it was not his birthday oh. at all. I didn't know until the very end. Yeah, I... You thought so, it was his birthday? I thought yeah, it was his birthday. Yeah, he was <laughs> with us, he was like... Pissed. No, no, he... Uh, know what the fucked up thing is, that he didn't correct anyone, he just let it happen because people were buying him drinks. Some guy came up and like shook his hand. He's like, "Happy birthday!" and handed him a beer. And he's like, "Thank you." It was so <laughs> fucking. I right. shouted them out on the microphone. I was like, "Yo, <laughs> yeah. it's Pat Pap's birthday. Put some respect on him. Jesus Buy him a drink, Christ, man." It was not his birthday. Not day. his birthday. Did he tell you at the end? He didn't tell anyone. He, he just like he just embraced it. Gina told me that it wasn't his birthday. Or <laughs> Steven did. What do y'all? Well, it was his birthday like two weeks ago, and so oh, that's why I was like, oh. I haven't seen him for a while, and I was trying to be like, let me buy you a beer for your birthday, right. and then it just kept getting pushed off, pushed <laughs> off, snowballed. and now we're there, and now all of a sudden it's like, happy birthday, and everyone just kept saying happy birthday to him, and we just, just a, let it happen. Yeah, it's just a late birthday celebration at Killer Brews, so that's yeah. a belated, happy, happy belated birthday, Papa, whenever you hear this. And Fuck then, you, Pat Pat. If you, if he you does me. listen. He literally <laughs> said last night that he listened to the whole podcast. Yeah. He's going to kick your ass. I'm out. sorry. I'm sorry, Pat Pat. I didn't mean what I said. <laughs> He's coming for you. Oh, <laughs> uh, Ruh, ruh. Not too much shit happened last night that was too wild other than that. Except for Kyle called a girl Sarah that was not Sarah. <laughs> Is All right. That 69-year-old lady that you made out with, you yeah. thought that was her that came back, Were and you, you said... You Wait, really did make yeah, out. With I this, know. Like, did you? Were you like excited? Did you get excited for her to come back? Yeah, his I, okay. He had let me tell. Erection. Let me tell you the. He fucking, had a full <laughs> fucking erection. Let me tell you the fucking truth. So, we came up with this idea for a skits called Party Smashers, where I'm Kyler and he's Derek. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> And we do, like, <laughs> dumb shit, like, y'all, yeah, bro, fuck y'all, yeah, dude. You know, like, fucking surfer boy, fucking Chad yeah. and Ashley type shit. Or, like, you know, just, like, skateboard, dumbass, stoner stuff, you know, just shit. And then uh, this one old lady at the bar was, like, eyeing me, and I was real fucked up. 
And I was like, oh, dude, hit record, bro, hit record. <laughs> that fucking guy started grinding on her and shit. No, I was like, <laughs> what's your name, baby? What's your name? She's like, I'm Sarah. I'm 68 years old. I was like, oh, hell yeah, dude, baby. I was like, she's You're almost 69, 69, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and she like, and then I like made out with her. We took a video. Yeah, we really never <laughs> used it. We never used the video. Oh, well, I thought like... I don't know, man. Is that so I made out with the old lady for nothing. <laughs> she might be 69 now. That's then, true. Then you could just go. But last night, I was standing next to Steven. An old lady walked in. <laughs> and I did not think it was Sarah. I thought no, it was a different. No, was, fuck off. No. Thought, I did not think. <laughs> you fucking I, I, I did not you think. You were so excited. It was her. Like, Sarah. <laughs> no. You used your real voice. No, I did not use my real voice. I poked you and I said, yo, Sarah, girl, what's up? <laughs> and then I blinked and she was fucking gone. No, I seen her. She looked over at us and looked very concerned and confused and booked it the fuck out of the bar. <laughs> Which is also weird too, because it's like, why would that matter? So I called you Sarah, anyways. Like, maybe like she is Sarah. Maybe yeah. Sarah. Daw oh, Sarah. No, or maybe no, she's like, or... maybe she's like, uh, I don't know, schizo or some shit. Or she knows you. She just might know you guys. She already. don't know shit. She don't know fucking. She just seen you and got scared. She was like, I don't, I don't want none of that. She saw the day you did make out with Sarah. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm fucking cute. Fuck you're, up. You're a I'm nigga. not a, I'm not a threat to myself or others. <laughs> Kyle just you're calls a threat to the old, lot, old women Sarah whenever. Lock out your out grandma's room. up, dude. Kyle's <laughs> up, bro. Lock your fucking grand grams up, cause I'm coming through and I got a twelve pack of condoms, dude. <laughs> Ultra mega he's, he's been kicked out of multiple senior homes for, for her pleasure. Activity. That's good. Yeah. Oh God. That's... Yeah. Oh Mima. <laughs> oh Mima says she can't feel none. So I'm no more. So I got her the extra big fucking vibrating ring, dude. It's gonna be cool, man. Should be happy. <clears throat> So, dude, if you're an old person, you're getting fucking any sort of play. Even if you can't feel it, you gotta be happy as fuck. Like, what the fuck? You know, like a lot of the retirement communities have the highest like rates of STDs. Yeah, but like, seriously, fucking around, yeah. man. They don't get pregnant, and they don't. That's it. That's all. They're about to die it. anyway. Yeah. Like, yeah, like I don't give a shit. Dude, whenever I was in, <laughs> like, uh, if I get AIDS, who cares? I'm already like 80 years old. <laughs> whenever I was in college uh, for the substance abuse shit, they were like, there's like this portion where they're like. Um, we need to look at elder abuse, uh, like of like alcohol and stuff. They're talking about how like all the old people take medications, like hella medication, and then the alcohol will like hype it up. So like they have one beer, it could be like ten beers <laughs> in their system, and they're like, be on the lookout for that when you're a caseworker and social worker. And I was like, but they're fucking eighty. Like, why not just party down? Like that's yeah. your last. Like, <laughs> dude, one beer to ten beers. That's like a fucking super power. Like, <laughs> super beer. Their tolerance level is just it's really low. Beer. That's awesome. Yeah, man. I didn't know that. We so as you house. get older, you get drunk easier? Yeah. Well, this that's... amount of, like, uh, pills and stuff that you're on. Oh, yeah. I guess your metabolism slows down, so I don't know. Does it stay in your system longer, yeah. maybe, or something? I don't know. We'll ask our scientists next time. I don't, I'm Who's a scientist? Sure. The special scientist. We'll, we'll bring him on. I don't know. You're oh, the scientist. You're the. You are also our nerd. So I'm not a nerd. Yeah, for we're you. fucking cool. My name's Squash, <laughs> Squash Junkies. You, know, you play the nerd. That's what I'm saying. Oh yeah, I played a nerd in a new movie. You took a lot of offense to that. No, you you nerd. Nerd. Are you not? Do you not? I am a nerd. I don't care. I used to be nerdier. Nerds. We're all nerds. Everyone's a nerd. I used to be a big nerd. Now I'm a little nerd. I'm not Dude, a nerd. You all are nerds. No. Not me. <laughs> That's like your gimmick. I'm just kidding. That's one of your gimmicks. Because yeah. you were the, like, you were first to get those glasses you got on right I got now. these giant yeah, glasses. Yeah, you're the, <laughs> you got the fucking... <clears throat> the, <laughs> you got the fucking Coke bottle glasses yeah. on. I'm like, I'm not a nerd. <laughs> I won the Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. Uh, like, <laughs> not, Didn't I win? You used my deck. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay. There you go. That was a. That I normally was, win, but I made a deck so powerful that any <laughs> regular <laughs> novice <laughs> can use it to go through the entire thing. I did not love some go. fucking ass with that deck, dude. Well, that was the fir- like I remember like Excelsior. <laughs> specifically, Stephen was the first to introduce Dad. What was it, Dad? Dad bod and Dad uh, style back. You were like, it's back, and you still got those I new balances. Yeah, I was stoked. I was fucking stoked. Over it. the top. Got some new balance. Got well, you the, are a dub. Got the mullet. You are a dad, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. The mullet now is that part of the dad look? Oh, well, I mean, a mullet is like 
in the mix. Like, I feel I like grunge know, is that? back. Grunge is like the oh, thing that thing right back. Now. It's yeah. all yeah. And then no, actually, two thousand shit's coming back. Yeah, I'm not happy about two thousands is <laughs> like I'm one not. of the ugliest times it in is. history. Like. I- I, like what do you, uh, I just think of like, like Y2K fashion yeah yeah, like, yeah I just definitely. think of like the Spice Girls like they got oh, weird God, like yeah. I don't know I could be way off I mean I don't care wear whatever you want but nah I those big objectively ass, I don't really like those those big baggy fucking jackets you know what I'm talking about like the puff a jacket, puffy jacket like the puff ones that I don't are, like yeah, I don't like yeah. the puffy jacket they're back man that was just like in the fucking what Super Bowl all that shit people were just talking about it was just Back now, I never so. watched the Super Bowl. Yeah, you did. I did not. No, I made you. I watched the Puppy Bowl this the year <laughs> with Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg. I know. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, dude, that's such a good combination. I watch. Uh, I was too busy on the toilet bowl. <laughs> 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 what do we do on dude was saturday no i was you know, I was you working were in on tulsa. my i was working on my car on sunday you were in tulsa weren't you yeah you, you went, went to on, tulsa yeah you yeah. went on tour with uh johnny oh yeah yeah they went down there oh shit but friday before that before they left we were fucking doing karaoke at killabrews like we typically do on friday there was all these frat dudes in there and Kyle put on Break Stuff by Limp Bizkit. Oh, and me and him sang God. it. And, <laughs> dude, I sw- I was like, there's about to be a fucking riot. Because they were like, <laughs> like, they were going hard. Yeah, because that's They like- gave me, they were, like, they were like, encore for me and Kyle to like keep going. And I was like, I don't even know how to top that. Like, I just, uh, we just got to stop before things yeah. bad happen. Because they fucking, they were going hard in there. Because what's not? about what- to be Woodstock night. Yeah, nine. that's what I was thinking <laughs> of, dude. Well, that's the, like the like generations of people in general. Like, that's like what, what college kids are happening right now. Like, what, what were their parents' normal age right now? Would they be like... I don't know. What? Care. Late, 50, late, 40? Late 80s? Like, no. born in the late if 80s? You're, and you're having kids in college now? If right? your kids are in college, usually you'll be anywhere from like 30 to, four, 30 to 50 if 30 your kids 50. are in college. Yeah. Yeah. So they all were inspired by 90s music, pretty much. And possibly well, like 80s, like, 90s. How's Limp Biscuit coming back then? Because I didn't support that. Well, Limp Biscuit isn't fucking. <laughs> <coming back. laughs> he, he got some fucking hair and shit. I don't know yeah, what the fuck was going on with that. I listened to the new album. It was shit. I can't. Really? Oh, I you didn't took like time it. for that, man. I can't, yeah. dude. I, can't, I just don't trust. Like, I think mean, it didn't I, take time. I just clicked the button on Spotify. It didn't no, take any time. I um, like. And then Limp I was like, Biscuit. skip, skip, skip. I know, skip. I'm yeah, not yeah, even joking. I like Limp Biscuit. I like ICP. Did they do? But it's like one of those things where it's like. You don't want to admit that you like it. You want to keep it on the. You're dollar. not a fan, you know. Well, Biscuit did not rolling, right? Yeah, yeah. Rolling, 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 yeah, it was a thing that I wouldn't fucking talk about because I hate the fans. That yeah, it's like uh. some weird like. For the most part, it's like so mainstream now that it's like it's pretty okay. But Doyle loves. <laughs> Rick and Morty. I'm not surprised. Doyle. I'm not surprised. Doyle fucking loves Rick and Morty. Yeah, dude. there's no rules. The, he's a, he's the a rule. weirdo. The rule is there's no rules, so that's a gimmick itself. So I just hate you. like I. I hate that it's just like the same joke over and over. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like I'm smart and I'm drunk, and then he's like, I don't know. <laughs> you know like, it's just fucking. It's not. It's not like. It, I love the first season. Yeah, of the yeah, movie, yeah. But like after that, things just started going. Well, it's an Adult Swim original. original. Original, right? The first season. I don't it's think, think it's all. It? It might all be. Like, I swear it was. Yeah, Swim. yeah. Well, it's Adult Swim. Yeah, and Adult Swim's always still to date like kept up pretty good shit i've i mean ho- like mine is hunger team and like yeah aqua course, teens are coming like, back and shit yeah, i didn't know that fucking oh, awesome man, new movie. dude king of the hills coming back suppose uh it's like no it's 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 confirmed isn't it no one of them like so to pull that up. they were about to do something and uh I'll do it, it got, yeah yeah <laughs> it like got canned like something already Why? i don't know if it was that There's or if no it was a way. different show that mike judge was working on and then that got canned so then there was like kind of some like if he like what's gonna happen with king of the hill it's well, all beavis and butthead just came out yeah. last year like yeah. they did new episodes the of beavis and butthead and a new movie yeah so I thought that that, that right after that they in the same animation team that does beavis and butthead and king uh, of the hill? No, because Paramount, or I don't know, fuck, I have no idea, but I know Paramount has Beavis and Butthead, but isn't, like, Fox, like, over King of the Hill? Maybe. I don't fucking know. So it might be two entities. I don't know at all, like, how any of that shit works. I think it was just, like, 
licensing? Maybe? It was, it was, no, it was noticed. It, it was according to the internet and three sources. <laughs> uh, January thirty fourth, uh, thirty first, fourth. Uh, it still came out with a. Uh, it's still being rebooted. Yeah, still Go going. Ahead. Yeah, still okay. going for it. They don't have an announcement date, but as of fourteen days ago, they said it was still happening. Well. Hell yeah, dude. It only happened, well, the, I guess his 19 year old niece died. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. Who died? Was it Luane? Uh, Luane? Something. Oh, yeah. the voice actor that well, did that. Yeah, Luane, yeah. And yeah, yeah. Tom yeah. Petty died. That was a long ass time ago, though. What's, what well, was, was Tom Petty? King of the Hill? What was Tom Petty? Yeah. Lucky. Lucky. Lucky, yeah. He's on the marriage Luane. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, I don't know. See, King of the Hill's always been like one of those ones that snuck over me. I've watched episodes randomly. I've never watched it in order. King of the Hill is probably one of my favorites. favorites. Yeah, I've literally really watched great. like that's like my fucking whenever I just come home from work and if I'm like I want to drink coffee in the morning, I'll just literally watch that and I'll be the episode I've seen a trillion <laughs> times. I'll do that all the time. That's so still funny. Yeah, I, but yeah, but there's more good. There's more good King of the Hill episodes than there are good Simpsons episodes. Yeah, honestly. I can't. Simpsons is well. Hard. Simpsons, Simpsons has, is great. It's one season one through seven, or eight, yeah, or maybe ten. I even like. I even I like like. I even 10. like like ten through twelve. I do like those too. But King of the Hill is just like I feel like more solid. Like no, longer, for sure, for some reason, for sure. Yeah. King of the Hill is like stays at a god tier. Yeah. Where Simpsons is like kind of like goes up and down as it goes. Um... I feel like not until like season two or three, it kind of hits its stride, and then it goes up, it goes down. But there is so good. I don't know. It's just really good comfort TV. I think I love the clip that Simpsons goes at from like those those early seasons till about season ten, where it's like joke, 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 and it's like they're all funny and they all land. And then King of the Hill is just like super relatable because there's just like it's just like a Midwest bullshit. Like, it's like, it reminds me of my dad and his homies sitting out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's real conversations yeah. that have really happened. Yeah. Yeah. And King of the Hill has a lot of reoccurring bits too and really funny jokes. But overall, I like, I'd say The Simpsons is like a little bit better, but I think that on average, King of the Hill is probably what I prefer. All right. Is that your top voted? That's your top voted of all time series? What? Of, King like, of the as Hill? As a kid? As a kid, yeah. No. Like, what, what I didn't appreciate I like, it. I like fucking Dragon Ball Z way better than okay. fucking King of the Hill. I didn't King of the Hill is not the best anime, dude. Yeah, yeah like, <laughs> you never know, you know? It's going up there. No, I, I just meant like, like for mine, because I was influenced by Family Guy, which I'm kind of embarrassed to say. But well, Family Guy was good for the first yeah, couple yeah, seasons. Yeah, really yeah, great, yeah really whenever we were great. kids. And then you start finding out they do that shit where it's just like, like the, like, oh, just like that one time, and then they do flashbacks all the time. Well, like, I would like, the whole episode I come home from work and fucking Doyle's watching fucking American Dad, like, this year's American Dad, oh, and that, yeah. that shit is bad, dude. Yeah. You know, American Dad's not that bad. I like the first. It's better than Family season, Guy yeah. for sure. I, but it's the concept's great. But they're the, like, let's make a show about every single character that we have in our in our Family Guy universe. Like, what the fuck? I, is mean, that I shit? haven't seen any Dumb of that shit. shit. All yeah, right, we, fuck Mary Kill. Okay, you got <laughs> Simpsons, <laughs> Family Guy, and King of the Hill. <laughs> I would, I would fuck. I'd fuck. Oh, it's hard. Damn, I'd fuck Simpsons. I'd marry King of the Hill, and I'd fucking kill Family Guy. Like, it's already dead. Let's be honest. Mine's mine's reverse. I, I, Sim, I'm not Simpsons. Uh, so I'd, I would, I would, I'd fuck Family Guy, marry King of the Hill, and then kill Simpsons. I think it's absolute trash show. And I'm sorry. Really? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Wait, what? That's a hot take. When's the last time you watched? Did you watch the first like I, yeah, ten seasons? Yeah, I watched the I, not ten, but I watched the first three or four, and I just like I just it's not my thing. It's a I know it's like a hipster point of view. I'm sorry, but I just don't like The Simpsons. I think you're just being contrarian. Like, no, I'm not. A hundred percent. Like, I, have you ever, like, am he's I? Aiding, he's am hating I, on something that's, yeah, cool, no, that's like, universally no, loved, yeah, genuinely, which was the style yeah, at the time. Genuinely, no, no, genuinely, and we wore onions on our belts. At belt. any point in time, do you ever hear me reference Simpsons ever in my no. life? I never do. You I might don't. do it without not knowing though. Because it's so ingrained in our culture. Simpsons did it. The intro was the only thing I liked. It was the like random. The, <laughs> the, the song the is change, the, the change the change of intro like when they would do a, something cool and I'd be like ah. And then of course Draymond likes that gay little song. Yeah, the song is really you know the octaves. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, that really got that really got you. Yeah, going, really got me. No, no. And Draymond would sneak, stay up late to jerk off to the 
<laughs> you Just jerk off at job. the same speed <laughs> as that. <laughs> 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 and, then, and then when it does that little, yeah, that, that little Simpsons intro, the, that gets me every time. Yeah. Whenever Homer, that's when you come. Yeah, no, it's the star. It's Whenever the Homer song. gets hit by the car, that's yeah. when you come. <laughs> you oh, blast. <laughs> Oh, oh, homie. Homie. <laughs> I just oh homie. Is that a good march? <laughs> yeah, good march. Yeah, okay. yeah, hey, your turn. Here. Oh, my turn? I would probably I would probably marry the senses because it's safe and you know what's gonna happen and you know it's comforting and it's long lasting. <laughs> it won't stop. Why didn't make sexual <laughs> innuendos about it? It's I have to really analyze it and I would probably Fuck Family Guy because it's dirty, and you sometimes you're just curious. You gotta do that curious fuck, which means I have to kill King of the Hill, which I love wow, King of the Hill. Yeah, that's a shocker. No, I absolutely love King of the Hill. So it would be like tragic, but I kind of am excited by like the idea of killing somebody that I love. So, <laughs> the, uh, okay, yeah, there you, hell yeah, going, yeah. <laughs> uh, you gotta cool, let your man. family know about this. I gotta go. I'm gonna, I'm Don't gonna, worry. Does this fit with I only the, love you a little bit. Let me show you how much I love does you. Does that fit with I'm the, late uh, to murder everyone that's ever been at Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, a mandated reporter. Is that within that line? I don't know. Uh, a legend. Well, at legend. least you'll get your you'll get cut up a little bit. Yeah, I'll be around. I'm a mandated reporter too. Should I yeah. turn myself in? Yeah, turn yourself in for your podcast. Tell them that. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. Here's the evidence. Yeah. It's <laughs> already recorded. It's already out there. God damn it. <laughs> All right, well, let's talk about Squatch Druggy. Let's actually talk yeah. about James Dot Click stuff now. Nah, uh, lame. Yeah, we got second I'm filming kidding. today. We're about to start filming here in a minute once we wrap this up. Um, we got about 20 minutes so far recorded from... One day. One day. Which is fucking a lot. Well, okay. included in that 20 minutes is a flashback scene that me and Kyle recorded I saw over it. the summertime. Yeah. Um, was it the secret Squatch or something? Mm-hmm. Squatch Watch. Look, that's a bald eagle. <laughs> Whatever the fuck. Oh, is. look at that! It's a bald eagle. <laughs> I remember showing I bet that. That's a bald eagle. <laughs> showing that to some. Was that Johnny? It's like that's a nice shot of a bald eagle. <laughs> like, yeah, that's yeah. I like bald eagles. <laughs> Johnny, our Johnny. Johnny? Yeah, yeah, he'd be yeah. the one person appreciating it. Like yeah, that, he like that, really that. appreciated yeah, the. Good shot. Like, that man. was a good shot of a bald what eagle up there. Nerd. Side, side note: Did you know the actual sound of a bald eagle is made up? Like everything you've that heard screech? about that screech is fake. Oh really? It's not what really, do they sound they like? Make, it's not the real sound. They sound like a fucking like squawking bird that squawks. It's like small. a chicken? Like just smaller, like <laughs> like shit. <laughs> like yeah, like, like yeah, like like they they chirp and shit. Like big bird? Yeah, like they just chirp and shit. They don't make like screeching. That's actually like a falcon or some stupid shit. So yeah. That's you for, mean that the American government lied to yeah, us? Yeah, because it sells better, man. <laughs> to get us hyped Think up. Think about it. No, <laughs> trying to hype us up, dude. No, man. The it's... real screech of the eagle is this. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do that either. I believe that. Yeah, it's a fucking... Probably I've seen bald eagles before in real life and they never made any noise. You've never so. seen they, bald eagles. I'll, go, I'll dude, put a picture with you me. right now, dude. They're all around. We me. saw one in your backyard, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you we fuck. We seen that on Thanksgiving and you said the white man's victory lap. That's <laughs> was flying. God damn it. Because of Thanksgiving. Or was that Thanksgiving? No, That's yeah, that was the Thanksgiving. And it was fucking a bald eagle and I was like, ah, Thanksgiving. The white man's annual victory lap. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's up. I I didn't say it. I mean, I said it, but somebody else said it. I didn't come up with that. I don't believe in Thanksgiving. Okay. I don't give a, I don't really give a shit. Oh, you got to since you mentioned that, you got to go to the time that might be called out at this point and might get cut out or not, but there was a time where Steven I don't want to have to re-edit this. Steve, Steven, I don't want to have to re-edit Steve, this. Steve, Steve, that? Steven invited me to a Thanksgiving dinner where oh. where, where <laughs> there was a certain dynamic of people who all are very, just, you know, very, very, uh, in, they believe a lot of something. And uh, 
I the fuck. Uh, Stephen basically yeah, this sat is my here. Family, they're yeah, just like yeah, hardcore con- uh, conservative, like Christians. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, okay. it's I, I haven't even got the conservative side from my point, but I just like the belief. And we did a prayer, which is cool, like your thing, yeah. And then Stephen here had the amazing idea to be like, like look at me and be like, watch this, and go. Amazing, <laughs> and everyone yeah, in the whole trailer stops. Amazing, great. My grandma was like in tears. Oh my god! My grandma was like, "It's so beautiful." Uh, I was just like, "This is fucking real." And Stephen fucking called it out, and I was just dead inside. I was laughing, and I just like, but at the same time, that's you fucking like, great, you dude. Can't dude. <laughs> It was like you can't stop. Like, like was, I, I had to see at that point. It's because of, beauty. Yeah. It was like yeah. getting. I was a motherfucker that day because I just like got really drunk all day and just started being bad with the like. I was just fucking with the family, and um, I walked into the room. Well, so we do the prayer, and yeah, it was like kind of quiet, and I just started singing it, and then I just started fucking with people. I don't know what was in my brain, but I was drunk and like. People were trying to get food, and I was just like, go get another spoon and like smack it out of their, like, their spoon and be like, oh, 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 and just like walk around just knocking food out of people's shit and be like, ha, and then like, I know that people are getting pissed about it, but I'm just joking. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, I guess trolling. I guess I, I was just trolling everyone. Smacking so. food out of your family's hands. Um, if you have a cut then, off, Steven's really popular <laughs> with the inviting <laughs> And then... Drunkle John, <laughs> rest in peace. Uh, he was outside playing pool in my dad's shop, and I would just hit the fucking stick. Like, whenever he was about to, like, shoot, I would just hit the stick behind him, and he was getting so fucking mad. Like, he was like, like, people were like, he's gonna whoop your ass. And I just was like, no, he won't. And I just kept saying, I'm gonna see how far I could push him before <laughs> he, like, gets really, really mad. Um,. So I would do that, and then I would say, okay, I'm going to bet you $5 I could beat you at pool. And he's fucking crazy drunk. Like, he's, like, obliterated drunk. <laughs> he's like, okay. And we, oh, like, so we're about to do this bet for $5. And then he just kept, like, turning around. And, like, when he would go to, like, get a cigarette or, like, go get another beer or whatever, I would start throwing my balls in the pockets. <laughs> so I was just cheating yeah. so bad. Like, like, oh, I made another yeah, one. Yeah, that's exactly what I was. I was like, damn, dude, I got three, man. I, I guess I'm getting good at this game. And then he was just getting fucking livid because he knew I was cheating, but he couldn't prove it. So he was just like, <laughs> my dad's like, he's going to beat your ass. Like, for real, He's you're about to push him. And the final straw was he was telling me, he was like, I work at this construction place, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, I know a guy named John that works there. And he's like, no, you don't. I'm the only John. I was like, no, there's more Johns in the world. And he was just like getting fucking furious. And I was like, look, I'm going to call my friend. His name is John. He works there. And you owe me $10. And he's like, I don't know you shit. I don't know you shit. I don't know you shit. And he's like screaming that at me. And I'm like on the phone. I'm like, John, you work there, right? And he was like, Put that phone down, boy! Like, just fucking getting mad. I don't know why. I wasn't even calling anybody. I was just... I had something in my brain. I was like, I just gotta fuck with this guy. He fell down at one point, and I took this pack of cigarettes out, and I took, like, half the cigarettes and put the pack back in his pocket. Like, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> some bad shit. <laughs> That's taking advantage. I didn't help him back up. Either. Jesus Christ. That's oh. fucking hilarious. Man. Well... Oh, uh, well. Rest well, in peace, yeah. Drunkle John. Yeah. <laughs> Drunkle. You will be missed. Oh. Drunkle. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Drunkle. Oh, God. We, we might have to cut that. <laughs> That's fine. That's Why? fine. No, it's... So, uh, it's squat, squat, squat Junkies. Second, yeah, so second. Squatch Junkies, yeah. Uh, second day of filming on Squatch Junkies. Um, I think today there's a tarot card <laughs> reading scene. Okay. That'll be good. Get the fog machine out. We could uh, get some good lighting in there. Um, Moose is doing a character. He's like gonna come knock at the door, and you all answer, and he's gonna be like, "You're warned, or you're doomed, or something." Like he's gonna warn you all of the squatch foreseeable future. Is it referring to back at all, like to what I saw? Or like, do I? I haven't even talked. I need to, but like, I know what I saw that night. Like that's my character's thought. Yeah, right? yeah, but yeah. I, but I also like I'm tripping, so like no one believes me. Yeah, but yeah. 
then people start believing what I was saying. Well, I believe you because I'm a fucking Bigfoot. Yeah, yeah, 100%. I'm so, not a Bigfoot. Wait, you're going to answer the door too? I don't How know. How you do that in wheelchair? wheelchair they Jimmy. fucking fig- they figured all that shit out, not me. I don't care. <laughs> Jimmy the wheelchair. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, it's a... I'll get out there. there right upstairs yeah, yeah. getting films. Dude, and, that, that um, wheelchair... We should like, leave no a word. bit like that in where I just get out of the wheelchair and like move it. And then, like, <laughs> no, we, we had an idea where you were going to ramp the wheelchair over like a pond or something, <laughs> go on, go on. but we're going to film it like to where it's like a ramp and you're like, ah, and you like start to go, we'll cut and then we'll go back to the other side and you could just like, just jump up in the air yourself and land like oh, jump man. with the wheelchair and you're like, oh, oh, I, see, I told you guys I could jump it. <laughs> <laughs> what? God damn. What's, what's the the movie where uh, he pushes him down the hill? And the oh, back back me. That alien. That's exactly what I was thinking of. That's exactly what I was thinking of. You got to look at the behind the scenes on how they did the effects behind how they were going. Uh, dude, that's some shit. Oh, God, I gotta watch that. Well, since it's, like, shot on VHS, we could just, like, make it be all staticky right there. Yeah. Like, it'll be like, oh, I'm going off the ramp. Static. And then something I will land, play. Yeah. And then, yeah, then you're landing, and you're like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you got wow. that? that was pretty cool. <laughs> Dude, you could, no, you'd have to do a cutout, but you could do a cutout of, like, and then put it in front of the sun. And that way, it's oh, you know like it's, like it's going Dude, towards the sun. You know what I mean? Like so a like, piece of paper yeah, of, a, of Kyle. Kyle. <laughs> so you cut. <laughs> so you cut it. It's like so it's just like, but all you see with the like static the silhouette. is a silhouette of you jumping over, like basically the sun, yeah, like ET. Like that's the ET oh, style. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, like damn, moon, yeah. yeah, but with the sun. So yeah, fuck that yeah, would be dude. Sick. I like Get that, that angle. That'd be super cool. Fuck God. It's those types of moments. Yeah. It'd be so good. Well, we're going to film... Hopefully today's... This might be the last time we film in the house, and then we'll start actually like going out to Slade's cabin and doing um, film like out in the woods and stuff. So we'll actually be able to get some of those creepy Bigfoot scenes out there. Fuck yeah. Seeing the... Creepy. There's a Bigfoot in the woods the and iso- stuff like that. isolated cabin, which is super cool. I is it, Are there neighbors around to watch the Mo, like him going around and the fucking... Uh, I think all his neighbors are like his family. Oh, okay. Like, so I they, think, yeah, everyone's like no, cool with the... Another Sasquatch thing. Yeah, like his... Uh, that'll be, right. Oh, that will be great. That will <laughs> be great in the, the podcast. Shut up. Wait, what's Are you cat? getting on your fucking phone? No. No, no phones, boy. I was just checking it. Oh, yeah, exactly. I had to check mine. <laughs> Whatever. I, I'm still here, I think. Are we? Uh, well, I went to kill someone from the Taco Bell, and it didn't go <laughs> Allegedly. Well. It didn't go the way I wanted it, so. You couldn't get the face tat off of her face. Yeah. <laughs> I needed my trophy. <laughs> I wanted to cut off face tat Tammy's tat for a trophy. I couldn't do it. Didn't have the heart. That's a good, uh, good segue into the next uh, part of the Squash Junkies. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, so we're, we're answered. So last time we did it was we had our pool scenes, did our, like, me, me fucking around. Bliss. Me fucking around with uh, the new camera ideas, new camera shots. We finally did for the first time, I think, in our, our all of filming the... We've done whiteboard in the background, oh, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but actually that cutting was a to full ass whiteboard. Yeah, too. and like going back and forth in conversation, which was really tough to think about. So then putting just the, all the lines on the whiteboard and having all the all the things set at once, uh, like that's probably the best way to go about it. Kill it. Dude, them Kill cats it. are wrecking that um, room. Yeah, I'm gonna like put it, put it somewhere. Baby. No, because babies. Is that his name? Baby. Yeah, yeah. Name I just called Baby. This is Baby. <laughs> we call our cat Mr. This Boy. Cat's being so a bastard. Oh, it's trying to jump. It's it's attacking you. <laughs> just accept the love. It's gonna get pissed. Calm down. Calm down. Uh, just for any PETA viewers out there, uh, we are gently holding the cat. Yeah, and it's. <laughs> Kyle's not not strangling it. I didn't it strangle it. It's not being quiet. It's holding it. It's now quiet for its Look, own it cho- it. on its own choice. <laughs> but by choice, it is now it's, quiet. That cat it really hates being no, held. Yeah, yeah, it just it hates being held unless you hold it a certain way or like give it food or something. You know, people are kind of like that. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> that's exactly what I'm like. A, she is wrecking up. Whatever. They'll just, they'll well, fine. we're probably about to the end of this anyway. Yeah. So. Sure. Fun. Yeah. I've had a lot of fun. Yeah, I've had a lot you, of good fun. You have any final? What's 
<laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> What's Jerry's final thought? Jerry? Yeah, Jerry. Jerry, like Jerry, Jerry, gay Jerry gay. uh... Gay Gary, Gay Ross. <laughs> no, Springer. That's the end of Springer Gary show. Spring. He, he, my boy, Gary, Gary Springer. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I always say He's like, these are my final thoughts. Well, it's all serious. Yeah, and it's shit. like, dude, you just had dude. fucking well, strippers fighting on the stage. Apparently, you know? no, he used to be like a senator and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, was yeah, a good dude. Yeah. His, first, his first, like, TV stuff was like, you know, like, really, like, good yeah. stuff. He was like, like an like, actual, like... Helping people. Yeah. Well, that's why he could be, like, he ripped straight up as a judge. Like, like he actually had the background and, like, the history of a... Of I thought he was, like, a, a politician and, like, a yeah. long... A long he's a person. judge. That's man. how he's a judge. He's yeah, a judge, judge Jerry. He's a judge Jerry. I don't Jerry. know if he's a... I, I think he's he a changed his name to Judge. Yeah. So they could get away with Like Dredd. <laughs> judge judge. Dredd. <laughs> judge. My name is Judge. Excuse me, <laughs> Mr. Judge Reinhold. <laughs> judge Reinhold. God damn it. Oh. Okay, my final thought is I've forgiven Taco Bell. I'm going to go take it out on Burger King. Burger King's trash. Yeah. Yeah. Burger King, and I the, used to really like Burger King, but now as an adult, I realize they are fucking bullshit. I, Burger King is fucking garbage. I, I, sorry, that's your final thought. I'm sorry. Shut the fuck up, Brandon. That's, that's, that's your actual final thought. Sorry about that. All right. Right. Um, I wish I could tell you more about Squash Junkies, but I don't even fucking know. So You're I'm the just, main dude. Well, fuck. <laughs> I, didn't read, I didn't read the whole script yet, so I don't know what the fuck's going on. Um, we're gonna figure all that out. It should be coming out soon. Um, Fish piss. We're gonna do more about. You know, we're gonna try to get that uh, going, getting to people. Uh, yeah, wherever you all are. all orders have been fulfilled. All orders have shipped. Everyone should have their copy of Fish piss. At least by the end of next week, if you don't have yours already, and if you don't, reach out to me. Except for that one dude that ordered in like United Kingdom. That's probably gonna take a long time to get there. Yeah, maybe a month. You have to stand um, stamped, like stamps for that shit? No. I have to, do that? No, you I have to pay, go in. They and, send it to somewhere that takes it on a plane, and then, yeah. the, and then uh, they drop it, it off at It goes whatever. through customs, so I have to go yeah. in and fill out a customs oh, form. Oh, shit. Yeah. And write down, I wrote down, what did he say? Fish, fish. What are you sending? <laughs> and I wrote down fish piss, and the dudes just started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely are going to check yeah. that out, man. <laughs> He's reading through all the shit. He's like, just typing it in. He's like, boot ba ba chicka ba da What the? <laughs> <laughs> and it like looks down and it says fish piss. <laughs> and he's like, he just starts laughing. He's like, what's wrong with you? He kind of knows me because I go in there all the time to send out orders and packages. Is it the one you worked with? And did you work with the dude? No, not that one. But we know several, whenever I did used to be a mailman, we know several, similar, <laughs> what am I saying? Mail Similar man, people, yeah. We uh, we uh, knew some of the same people from Tiger Station, I guess. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think. I don't know. It's been so long since I did the mail. It's only been three years, but that shit stuck with me. It hurt me. Well, my final thought is uh, <laughs> no. Uh, is my final thought is hey, fuck the mail. Okay, yeah, that's mean, man. Yeah, they, the mail. They're you overworked and they are. I don't give a shit. That's <laughs> why I quit. Abolish mail, dude. <laughs> Abolish the in mail. The mail. <laughs> in the mail. For real. Let Amazon sort it out. Yeah. I no, want, I want just reparations. <laughs> I, I like the mail. I just wish they would calm the fuck down. The bosses and shit. A okay. male? Okay, yeah. sorry. Uh, my What's final, your final my, thought? My final thought is for... What any, was your final thought? A, anyone who ever? I don't know yet. I can't wait to find out. <laughs> can't uh, wait to find out. Oh, shit. It's right now. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, damn. Um, I this guess. is my final thought. Oh, damn it. No. It's quiet. The, that dude, was you just, yeah. Uh, right, edit that out. Check, check, check camera angles if you like camera stuff for me. That's my final thought. If you like movies and you like looking at angles of movies like anyone normally does, anyone who watches a movie, you're obviously, I know, thinking about the camera angles and the height and where the horizon line is, all of that the, shit. The ball sack yeah, slapping the, the butt all cheeks. All of it. Like, when you're looking at that, I, I mean, appreciate it. Really appreciate all of it from ball slapping butt cheeks to beautiful skylines and Sasquatch. Um, that's my final thought. Yeah. Appreciate the little details. I only watch dirty movies. Oh. <laughs> well. No final thought for you? My final thought was, was fuck mail? the mail. <laughs> no, my final thought is um, 
I don't know. That's a good one. Uh, I don't think anyone knows. I'm going to jail! <laughs>